Man, anything you crust but a microwave just comes out as a soggy disaster. That's the first thing we said, right? Yes, absolutely. A hundred percent. It wasn't me this time. <laughs> Yes, we, we could talk about soggy disasters. So, hi. The merits of toaster ovens versus microwaves. Oh, toaster ovens, a hundred percent. It's like not even close. I I honestly think if I could have okay, so if I could have a hot plate and a toaster oven, I'd be good to go. Like that's all I need. That sounds about right. So, but if your small oven oven it is, the bubble bee, so. it would be relevant no. to tonight's conversation. Well, that, that's what I have is, is like I have uh, this, essentially it's a convection, a mini convection oven is my toaster exactly. oven. It, it's fantastic. It's, yeah, it's great. So I would highly recommend that. So, yeah. Highly recommend. So, so we've decided to switch the focus of the show from rather than doing Transformers reviews, uh, we're, we're actually going to uh, go ahead and do food reviews. So I tried out that new chicken sandwich today. So I went at like two in the afternoon, so I don't have to worry about the line. So it was fantastic. Was there a line anyway, or was is it died down now? Um, well, I think Anna said she went to that same one last week, but it was like over um, lunchtime, and so there was quite I a went line, right? Thanksgiving Eve at like one fifteen, and I was there till like one fifty five. And I went at two, and I, it took me, like, five minutes to get the sandwich. So, so really, you just have to, yeah. Maybe yeah. it's actually time to buy them. Yeah. But they're not. Get them for later, right? <laughs> sure. That's how this works. <laughs> they, the, on did, did you see that? There was, like, an SML sketch on uh, on the chicken sandwich stuff it was it was pretty funny go check it out like i'm not going to describe it like i wouldn't do it justice but like just go check it out on, on youtube it's like where the the intern suggests that he's going to go and get a bunch of chicken sandwiches like when they open um and so yeah it, it was pretty funny so anyway so what show is this should probably talk about that now. So, okay, so the, a the actual, this is just our warm-up, you know, that, that we're doing. So, um, so the actual show that we're doing today, because we, like, don't actually have new stuff, uh, because we're in between, uh, we have not gotten the, the newest Wave, was it 5? Yeah, Wave 5 Siege. Like, Wave 4 uh, Bot Bots is, like, kind of in process, but we don't have them... Christian has some, and so uh, we talked about the masterpiece guys last week on Ouch My Wallet. So I think we decided to do like a our favorite Bumblebee. So it's kind of like in honor of MP45. Yeah. Since that now now that that's come out, we're gonna say what is our favorite uh, Bumblebee? Is it MP45? Or do we have something else that, that we like better? So, so um, we're microcasters. I'm Christian. That's Lucas, not Zana. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> oh, you know, I kind of feel like at this point, do we really need an introduction? I mean, I don't know. Maybe. That's so, it. it's done. Save it. It's, it's, we don't need an introduction anymore. All right, all right, Christian, the man that needs no introduction. So, our fame precedes us. Oh, Action Master Bumblebee. So, oh, man. Who said that? Randall in the chat. So, do you have an Action Master Bumblebee, Christian? No, I have no Action Masters. I have no Action Masters either, Randall, but... So, uh, that's like the next thing that I want to get into, because I've gotten a lot of the Micro Master... Oh, don't do it. Don't do it. But there's no value in them. I, I coincidentally had an Action Master Megatron briefly, and I could not get rid of it. No, but see, this is the but kind of stuff that I love to get. Action Masters, you're like, go for it, and I go do it. Yeah, because you can do it, and then like, <clears throat> I don't. You, it saves up other vintage stuff for me. I don't know. It's like you're just very Lucas because you actually care about his safety, but me, you're just like ah, yeah. I no, no, no. He can, <laughs> he can do it too. I'm, I'm doing no for me. I'm not going to do it, ever. 
so for me, I like to have weird stuff that I collect at conventions. That like, so I can go to all these booths and like maybe one booth might have one action master. It's the same thing like Anna has with her rock lords and all that. <clears throat> yeah, but I, I've really run out of good rock lords to Hans. You just got a new great rock lord. Yeah, but I mean, like, he is not a cheap thing to find. So find his brethren. I'm sure there's more rock rollers. Oh, there are. There's there's a whole set of him and his friends with various action features, which are not related to the show, but he is my favorite Bumblebee. So so Anna, but here's here's the thing though is is like collecting uh, that kind of stuff. It part of the thrill of the hunt is to find a good deal on that stuff. So like Rob, for oh, example, got a huge lot of rock lords with some expensive ones in there. And so you could do the same thing. <clears throat> oh, I that's know. that's part of it. That may or may not be something related to what I do with my life. You guys think that we're single handedly reviving the rock lords market? We no. Me and rock. There's there's another guy that has a Twitter feed, uh like with like called like Rock Lords Rock, and I think that he probably does more. We try. We try our best. A, a year ago, I had zero rock lords, and now I have three. I still have zero myself, yeah. so... Oh, you know what? I should have done that for my Christmas list. I should have put rock lords on there. That would have been the perfect thing. Because I don't have any. I can provide you with a rock lords thing for Christmas, if you would like. I mean, I don't really want it, the but... rock lords that I got for my birthday. Yeah. I mean, I've got it now. I can just make copies of it. <laughs> Okay, so anyway, so Bumblebee, um, so we're yeah. picking our ten favorite Bumblebees. Is that right? Oh, no, Lucas, one. You get one well, the answer Bumblebee. is always one. Did <laughs> <laughs> actually bring Lucas? Oh, so, Christian, you can't actually see. How many do I have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I have ten. Well, you need to, like, log on to the uh, Facebook channel, then you can see it. I think I have ten. I was trying to quickly pick up as many as I could. I don't think I... pick up one. That is your favorite. Oh, I forgot the animated one, too. Oh, jeez. So... All right, so, listeners, we we all agreed earlier today that we would do our favorite one Bumblebee figure tonight. Lucas clearly has gone off the rails here. <laughs> I'm just displaying this one because I think it's a better display piece than my face. And I discovered this cool thing I can do where I stack up boxes and put figures in front of them. Oh no! And what should happen to my other part of my bumblebee? Yeah, what are you what are you doing there, Anna? It's fun. I can hide behind action figures. It's the coolest. <laughs> I invented this last week. So Lucas has like a billion bumblebees that are his favorite, apparently. No, so so what I what I was doing, Christian, is I actually do have just one that I narrowed it down to. However, just I, I'm just displaying some bumblebees because that's the show, and oh, I figured like because if it's like one, like because I had this other camera set up, if it's just one, it's gonna look lame, and so I'm putting a bunch of bumblebees out there. You say so. That's what I say, Christian. There were anyway. two that I missed in that picture earlier that I shared. I should have had all of them. I missed two. Yeah, Anna, so you, you're over here talking about one per character. You talk to us all the time about, like, oh, I need to sell, like, this, that, or whatever for one per character. And then you pull out, you're like, oh, well, turns out, like, if you're going to talk about Bumblebees or Ultra Magnus or, like, I don't know what other ones you have a bunch it's of. It's just those two. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Pretty soon you're going to be a it character is. collector just like Paul. And you're going to be like, oh, like, my... I have the world's largest uh, collection of Ultra Magnuses and Bumblebees. No, it would be like <laughs> the world's largest collection of Slimestone. The Rock Lord. <laughs> Although... The guy in the, the early 2000s who tried to get every copy of Dreadwind. That'd be awesome. He amassed enough of them to buck the market for a while. Oh, it's funny. Like, it wasn't every release of Dreadwind. It was just every, like, from the run of Dreadwind. Get all of them. 
So who won? How many did he have? To talk about? How many did he have? Um, and, and Anna, the other the other point I want to make is is that in your picture, most of those were not actually bumblebees, like they were knockoffs or you know whatever, just random stuff like that. Like they weren't official bumblebees, which I thought that's weird. Representing bumblebee? No, 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 no. When we pick favorite figures, there is no requirement that it has to be some Hasbro or Takara nonsense. It can be whatever, as long as it's that character. It's about I the character, not that. the manufacturer. Okay. It's the heart of these cards. Hmm. All right, Anna, you go first, then. Who is okay, your sure. favorite one Bumblebee? Not this one. Not that one. I'm surprised. No. It's... It I'm fights. It really wants to fight because it wants to be my favorite, but <clears> transforming <throat> it is like I'm pretty sure that like Trappy be in a room where I have nothing to do but transform overly complicated masterpiece figures is some sort of low key torture for me. So that's why not him. Um, but I decided to go with him, who is as Lucas was saying, some sort it's of a knockoff. Made. That is legitimately a knockoff. Like, that's not even a third party. That is a knockoff of a third party figure. What is it? It is the um, oversized knockoff of New Age Flipper. It is a reasonably sized little bumblebee. Let's say, here's the regular flipper. Flax? Honestly, yeah, that's the, that's the New Age version. Let's see. Official, unofficial, reasonably well built, very articulated for its size, and um, there are a few improvements because we talked about the new age figure ages ago. New ages ago, ha! Uh, um, so we talked about it a long time ago, and you know some real problems with the new age figure is like they made the. They make some of these smallest transforming figures that are like super detailed, but they ended up with problems like it didn't have rolling wheels. With this one, they actually added rolling wheels, um, and it didn't have turning wrists. This one has turning wrists, so it's like you know they threw a couple upgrades on it to make it a little bit, um, I don't know, slightly more premium, I suppose. Thing is, though, this thing when I bought it, I think it ran me like twelve bucks. It's a super cheap figure that is a pretty good looking bumblebee that scales pretty decently with a chug collection. So I kind of feel like, even though I do think that this looks better on my shelf um, from the front, as we like to say, I, and when I said this, I held up in P45 again because that just keeps popping up. Um, I honestly feel like this is more made for your buck for sure. And this is the better purchase and honestly the better toy because it takes just a couple, a couple minutes maybe to transform. It's really simple <clears throat> and it's fun to play with. And, you know, it actually like plugs together well as a car easily rolls around, poses decently as an action figure, not as well as 45 does, but it does pose pretty well. And, the only thing I would complain about directly is a lot of people hate the face sculpt. Um, I think the face sculpt looks cool. Well, as I say, on the actual one, New Age one. The New Age version's face sculpt looks fine. When you blow it up, he gets kind of weird pushed in cheeks. Yeah. Um, but otherwise, you know, he's pretty good. He's just a little gone. Um, the original figure didn't come with a jetpack, but he came with the jetpack. I don't know. I was really the level of impressed that I was Listen, with this figure. I feel I feel like the the legit one like does it is that the same head sculpt? Um, you know, I honestly yeah, I guess it is. Certain that they're the same. I think I, I think this definitely looks this definitely looks better. Like I don't know, like. I mean, obviously, you're not going to zoom in this much, right? Like, if you're, if I'm just looking at it, I think that the head sculpt looks cool. But 
Yeah. I mean, again, like, I think that that's probably true of a lot of Legends figures, that if you actually blow them up, they don't look as good. You know, though, this is the first figure that I ever put a, um, a faction symbol on for a third-party figure. I had never done it before. And, like, I had a week of indecision before I decided what size and what type to put on them. And now I have regret every time I look at them that I chose the wrong one, perchance. It's just too much stress. Back to the bulls of these guys. Oh my god! This is the worst. I hated it. Every minute so of it was terrible. What? You're so crazy. You're judging me. I hear myself yeah. being judged. You know, you yeah. can actually take it off and then put a new one on, like a, oh a different god, size. I'd have to get like on or something. I don't know. It'd be just like a pain train. Um. Anyway. Yeah. You know, last thing to say about it is that I personally think that it blew up really well from the New Age figure. Like, honestly, this gives me a lot of promise. Like, if, <clears throat> and it's like, shouldn't be asking, hi, Black Arachnian, good to see you, hear you, word you, read you. Yes, good to read you. That sounds totally weird. <laughs> um, as I was saying, I, this kind of gives me promise, like, if someone was to blow up the, um, the Magic Square molds to, like, a size this much bigger, because, like, um, MFT is currently taking the Magic Square molds and blowing them up to their scale, but if they blow it up to this scale, which would be roughly, like, blowing it all the way up to, like, Chug scale, I might want all of them. Because I think they look very similar to as good as Flipper looks. And I just I really like it this big. Like, it made it more playable to have it this large. And I definitely think it's way better than Chuck's stuff. <laughs> so that's my thoughts. Yeah, I, I think that that's the thing is, is like, why I, I like that Chuck size the most. So... Yeah, like, it, it would be... I probably would go in on on Magic Square if it was Chuck size. Especially if you're getting this... If it's Chuck size and the price is similar to this. Because, like, MFT's blowing things up, but they're, they're not this cheap, right? This was $12 or $13. <laughs> Yeah, you know, if only someone would come out with chug scaled stuff that was like, I don't know, $10 for Legends, $20 for Deluxes, maybe $30 for Voyagers, that would be perfect. If only someone would do that and give it like maybe some articulation. But see, to me, I <laughs> that's a still great think idea. I still think this looks better than chug stuff. <laughs> I really do. I will find out. I will stand this side by side with the jumper of Cliffs when he comes out, and I will see if I think they look good together or if he just outclasses Cliff Jumper so hard that Cliff Jumper has to ritualistically die like he always does. Wow! I tell you what, you you third party elitist. So I do think that is Yay. absolutely perfect. It's absolutely perfect that you picked a knockoff of a third party figure. Like, I think that encompasses your collecting. It does. <laughs> it doesn't, because my collection is everything. Super cool. But I mean, you, you tick two, bo two of your favorite boxes right there knockoffs and third party, so. This, so this, is, this is how you encompass my collection. You take a picture of these three together. So, so Christian, do you want to go next, or do you want me to go? I can go. Mine's probably pretty quick. So my favorite Bumblebee, I'm not sure of all time, because there could be a better one later. But presently, my favorite one is Human Alliance Bumblebee. I like the movie also design. really good. I haven't liked many of the deluxes. The first movie deluxe was okay. Battle Blade was kind of okay. This one, though, gets it exactly right. Um, I'm a former Alternators collector. This is the same size as them. It's an accurate, accurate, accurate vehicle mode. Uh, I've done a little bit of modding. I think you had to flip the hips around or the legs around so it had longer legs or something. And then I gave him some 3D printed hands. 
which haven't held up for the past couple years. I'll future them. It'll be fine. But he looks accurate. He's fun to play with. He comes with a tiny Shia LaBeouf. The color of this one, I think, is the only movie Bumblebee that has the color exactly right. They're either too yellow or too orange. This is the color he's supposed to be. Plus, his action features are cool. He's got a missile launcher you can deploy here if you don't have an extra hand. Uh, Shia LaBeouf is currently holding a missile launcher. He's got another gun here. And my favorite is that he has a flip-down battle mask, which is just awesome. I love it so much. And that helps get rid of the hideous face. I like his face, but I only <laughs> really like his face on this mold. Otherwise, it kind of looks weird a lot of times. But on this mold, it's good. I just don't like the movie face. And otherwise, I think this figure is nearly perfect. Like, it is a really, really good figure. This figure is why I didn't need the MPM when it came out. Because this one's just so good. I don't know how you would top it. I think this one's better than the Masterpiece movie. Have you had I've I've never actually messed with it. No, I've only touched it lightly. I don't know, like, the the movie Masterpieces... The movie masterpieces are like this like weird in between level where it doesn't really feel masterpiece. Like it feels a little bit nicer than like the chug stuff and movie stuff that you know selects and whatnot, but like I don't I don't know. Like messing with the ones like with other people's movie masterpieces, they haven't been that great to me. But I was pretty disappointed in Prime. I'm really disappointed in Barricade. <clears throat> I have jazz, he's okay. His paint's nice. Yeah, yeah. I w- I was debating about jazz, but I I can't go down that rabbit hole. Oh man, I had the Volkswagen B for a little bit. Man, that toy was garbage. I totally forgot. I was really excited about seeing that. Anna, you're roboting. I I am roboting. Yeah. yeah. That's my favorite B. I, I wish I could say it was a G one B. But uh, the one I had used for that is Titan's Return, and he's good, just not as good. Um, so now, now that Paul, now that Paul has joined us in the chat, Paul, do you have a B collection? I can't remember if it's because I know you do Star Screams, I know you do Grimlocks, but I couldn't remember if you did Bumblebees or not. Is I, I was really curious to see. Um, I, I was really curious to see because I know you know some of the other cast members have like a ridiculous Bumblebee collection you know that is close to all of them. Um, Hundreds, so. not like think, seven, like me. I do think a newbie that's coming soon could beat this one for me. Of course, Jeez. it doesn't have Tiny Shia LaBeouf, but the new <laughs> Studio Series one, the uh, the new Camaro one, as opposed to the. 76 Camaro one. Uh huh. That one looks really good to me. It's got the battle mask like I like, so maybe I should have it next month or so. It might Exciting. be a good list. We'll see. All right. So I guess is it is it my turn? Oh yeah. Paul Paul says he has all the bees. So all there you go. The, bees. the whole hive. Buzz, buzz. I, I don't. I, I don't know if he probably has. It, you need to show us pictures that they don't exist. So, but but yeah, Paul, let us know. What's that? It's in the mighty bin. Yeah, yeah, the bin, the bins, the B bins. So yeah, I'm really curious to see how many bees there actually are. You know, like what what is the number? Because, like, it has to be really high. Like, like I'd really be curious. I mean, I'm assuming Optimus Prime has the most figures, right, of, of himself. Like, that's probably been the most produced. But, like, I would guess Bumblebee would be number two, right? Yeah, probably. 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 Starts here movie three? No. No? Megatron's probably three. Because for between G one and you know movie times, there weren't very many. There were no bees. Right. Um, there were there were a couple Star Screams. 
know, yeah, I'm just might be three or four. Maybe high. All right, pa so... Um, Paul was saying the battle axe bumblebee, I guess. Um, there was Reese yeah, in the pre-movie. That that was one of the best ones. Yeah, it's fine. I thought it was a bit too lanky, but, it, you know, it's a, it's a fun toy. Yeah, so I guess uh, Rick's in the chat, too. And he's saying that uh, they tried to do a count for, the, like, the top characters while he was at Hasbro, and that they never could finalize it. So it would be tough. So, but yeah, Paul, Paul, Rick, let us know like what your favorite bees are, because I'm sure that you guys have quite a few more than us. So, <clears throat> my favorite bumblebee that I'm gonna do is this one, which was nice. one of the first ones that I got. It was one of the first ones I got when I got back into collecting, which is the classics bumblebee. And this is just a, a really neat mold, and I mean, kind of like the classics Optimus Prime. Um, I mean, these are like two of the, you know, just best molds that they've done. So I, I really, really enjoyed this. I mean, of course, this is almost, I mean, this, I guess, is essentially a deluxe size uh, figure. But um, it came with a little, um, like, a little skidoo or whatever, like, back that turns into, like, a jetpack thing. Um, so, yeah, it was... Um, I mean, for the time, I mean, it doesn't have ankle tilt and stuff like that, like that Anna loves. Um, but, I mean, for the time, the amount of, you know, engineering and articulation and all that, like, is pretty high. Um, Definitely. It's a really good bee. So. It's probably the first Bumblebee figure I ever had. <clears throat> Yeah, it, it honestly might be, because I don't remember if I had a G1 Bumblebee when I was a kid. Um, it's just not a figure that stuck out in my mind uh, back then, but... Um, yeah, like, I mean... When, I wasn't around for that, and Bumblebee didn't come back until Classics. My first one, I want to say, was the Action Master. I think that was my first Bumblebee. It was either that or the weird... Um, you know, when they did the Pretender Bumblebee as a, like, standalone figure without a shell? Yeah. I had that one, too. Yeah. yeah. That, one of those two was my first Bumblebee. And I still have, I still have that one, but the Ash Masters in my mom's shut. So it's probably spider food. Yum. The yeah, so. Spiders are advanced. I guess Paul said that he started collecting Bumblebees pre-movie because, again, like you were saying, Christian, that they didn't really make that many of them at the time, and so it was easy to kind of start at that point. So, But, of course, now, I mean, it's it's crazy how many Bumblebees. I still think that they probably have more primes, but... Oh, no. It's close now. So... See, Nick Nick agrees with me that Classics B is the best B, so, and considering how many Bs that Nick has, I'm, I'm going to go with that. Classics B is a good B. He's just he's probably a little, too. like, something you'll notice when I pick favorites, I'll often pick something that isn't very Kibbly, and it's just Classics B is Kibbly. This guy, not Kibbly. Hmm. <clears throat> I don't know what you're talking about. I don't see any kib kibble on this guy. None. 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 Zero None. Kibble. None whatsoever. I think I'd also like to throw a mention out to the Prime Robots in Disguise B. Not the first edition one, the regular line deluxe one. That's just a fun figure to transform. With its automorph thing in the chest, I just I love it. And it looks nice. The decos they did on... The repaints were really good. I like that figure. I so, a lot of these toys. There's a lot of really bad ones too, though. Um, so uh, Paul says that his favorite B is the original G1 mold, um, but the Encore, the latest reissue with all the paint upgrades. Mm -hmm. um, let's see. Uh, Black Arachnia says uh, Studio Series VW Bug Animated B and First Edition from Prime. So there you go. 
who likes the Studio Series bug mold? That thing's horrible. <laughs> That thing is. That thing might not go back on my shelf. I took it down for that picture, and I think I might just uh, get rid of it. Like, Which one is that? Can you show that off? off? Can you show that one off, Anna? I really do like you, but that's a bad choice. Can you show that one off? I mean, that's like his opinion, man. Jeez. I don't want to show it off because it's dumb. We did a show on it once. Oh, see, I like that. I like that one. I kind of like it as an action figure because it has really good articulation. Mm -hmm. But the, um, uh, what do you call it? Not the silhouette, but the uh, blobby things. Um, profile? Profile, yeah. Proportions, that's the word I wanted. The proportions on this don't look good to me. And the other problem is that it's a pain in the neck to transform, but it's a tiny figure. And it just, I don't think those two things mix together very well. So says the owner of a P45. Yeah, which so is better. It does look nice in both modes, but just messing with it is horrible. It is. So I forgot about the uh, the Thrilling 30 Generations B. Like, I actually have that one, too. And I, uh, that is, that's yeah. a good one, too. Wait, the car one or the tiny Legends one? I, I think he's talking about the car one. The one that looks kind of like the Camaro. Yeah. It's only fair. I did like that Legends one. So, so... The so, ish one. Uh, I guess uh, the Ultimate Bumblebee. Which one is that one? Who says they like the Ultimate Bumblebee? Well, Rick says it because it has his voice in it. It's like, I guess, a bunch of voices yeah. mixed mixed together, so... I guess that's a good reason. That's fun. That is a good reason. Look at him. He's so old and beat up. He's so sad Aww. to be beat up. But he made it. He has. He's lived ever how many years since I bought him. Just kind of like a hundred or so. So, so I had no idea. Apparently, Paul's saying that I guess the bumblebees are some of the most valuable, uh, too. Like the blue microchange bumblebee, I guess, and uh, South American bumblebees. Yes, that they're going for like two grand. I've heard that so. second one. What if I would have got on here and said that this was my favorite bumblebee? <laughs> So which one is okay? So Nick, Nick says his favorite terrible bee is between Terminator Bumblebee and Murderbird Bumblebee. Which ones are those? Oh, one is the uh, Dark of the Moon one, and the other one is from Beast Hunters. Right, Nick? I do like Murderbird Bumblebee. That one's pretty cool. But it's from that same mold, like I was mentioning earlier. Yeah, I like his crush now. Wait, wait, hold on. The Studio Series Bumblebee is up to eighty bucks. Are you kidding me? God, why did no. I open that thing? I, That's what Paul's saying. No, I think he was talking about um, uh, Human Alliance. Um. So uh, apparently, you need to flip the crotch up on the Bumblebee. Is that on? I said I like it this way. I like it with the cross down. <laughs> so I always had him as a kid. I leave him like that. I didn't know that part moved when I was like four. Wow. That's cute, Anna. I suppose cute's the way to put it. <laughs> On a yeah. <clears throat> so Anna, so here's my question. So now that we've had this show and you've talked about your favorite Bumblebee and it happens to be some knockoff trash, um, are you going to get rid of your other Bumblebees or are you going to continue to have break your one per character on, on Bumblebee? Well, <clears throat> now that you asked that, um, I'm probably going to keep breaking the rule on them because he was my favorite as a kid. 
Here you like, go. Like, like I mean, we just was. Like, I mean, okay, so I ended up having a crush on Ultra Magnus, but it, he wasn't my favorite, right? He was just the one that I wanted to marry. But mm. if I were to marry a robot. I didn't know that. I thought you just liked him. Oh, no, I had a huge crush on Ultra Magnus. It was cool. slightly weird. Uh, <laughs> so what are your thoughts on IDW Ultra Magnus? The more than meets the eye? Oh, it's neat. It's a neat interpretation of the character. I like it. Sirius was like full on cartoon Magnus, though, right? Oh yeah, definitely. Nice. <laughs> oh, we should. Okay, so so we should do a Starscream episode for Microcasters too. Favorite Starscream, but like not invite Paul. <laughs> You're like, sorry, buddy. <laughs> and like not even feature his comments or whatever on the show. You're like, sorry, buddy. <laughs> So, and, and like, that throw up like trash Starscreams. I think we'd at least have to invite Mr. Starscream, our enemy yeah. host of TFLP Weekly. There you go. Yeah. But only, only the voice. Like, can't actually show it on camera. Mr. Starscream. Right, it feels right. right. So I feel like in the month of December, we're going to have quite a few releases to talk about. So we probably will need to do another one of these in the month of December. But I think we should do one when, um, I think we should start doing it whenever the MPs come out. We should do it when MP Hound comes out. Oh, yeah. I definitely want to do MP Hound, Hound so, yeah. Well, I, I think in general, like, we're going to have some dry periods here, because, I mean, Chinese yeah. New Year will be coming up and all that, too. So, yeah, we'll probably have plenty of favorite favorite character episodes. So, maybe we can talk about that yeah, trash guys, comic again, too. You know, listeners, if you want us to do a specific character you know, which one's our favorite let us know we'll we'll do it yeah for sure yeah. or if you want us to review some strange knockoff trash i guess we'll do that too oh we'll definitely do that <laughs> so week. yeah it's like more yeah. more knockoff the the knockoff trash show with with uh, anna right hey you've been saying for years that you were looking, that you all were looking for a theme for TF Expo to be the show for. It could be the show for knockoff trash. Oh, jeez. Yeah, <laughs> there, there you go. So, I'm yeah, sure. all right. I'm Anna's sure. going to start a new show called Cut the Crap. It's going to be like a spinoff of Rick's I show. You. I just play it after every episode of Rick's show where... I just reviewed some sort of, like, actual knockoff trash. Not a, like, good, high-quality knockoff, but, like, the actual garbage, which I also have in my collection. <laughs> the so. darling garbage. I am so excited! <laughs> Sounds like a really weird, either girl punk band or, like, someone's sad blog. The darling garbage? The darling garbage, yeah. Oh, you're such darling garbage. <laughs> uh. I'm going to go with the girl punk band. I'm good with that. I'm good with that. Yeah. Could open up for the pretty reckless. Yeah, I was kind of thinking that, Black Ragnia, that we, like, I kind of think we should do one of these for every masterpiece figure. So we should do one for Black Ragnia. It's just... I I don't know if um yeah I don't know if Lucas could, could, could uh participate. Do you have any? Uh, I do not currently know. So not even uh, if we're gonna do oh I may have the enemy I don't know. It let's set a date and then I'll try to buy a black arachnia in the meantime. I'll do some research and I mean it's not like I want a black arachnia. It's just that. I don't know. I just have never come across... Like, it hasn't been in Chug generations and whatnot. Go get the um, Beast Machines one. She's wonderful. So, Black Arachnia the human, what's your favorite Black Arachnia the toy? I'm trying to think of what mine would be. Like, not counting the Masterpiece? It's so I'm easy for me. That. It's clearly Beast that. Machines. TM2, maybe? I never owned a Transmetal 2. It was introduced to me as a um, naughty figure. Oh. 
right, there we go. Boys in our group. So we'll just have a show where you guys try to convince me to buy all the black arachnids. That'd be fun. A lot of them are pretty good. Did we get an answer from Black Arachnia the Human yet? Not yet. We're still waiting. Yeah. There's yeah, actually I'm, a pretty I'm good really delay intrigued. in how long it takes for us to get to them and then back. Black Arachnia is a transmittal too, probably. I think that's probably me too. Although Legends, again, were animated. But yeah, TM2 is very, very good. Why aren't you, why aren't you all saying Beast Machines? Come on. It's not very good at all. Oh my, What? How dare you do that? <laughs> That's one of my favorite Horrible. figures. It's awful. That's on my Desert Island list. I, I feel like that I've let P okay. Peter down, by the way, by the fact that I don't have any black arachnias in my collection. So I'm, I'm sorry, Peter. I'll try to rectify this. I should have put it on my Secret Santa list. I didn't. So You've let me down a little bit, Lucas, because I like black arachnia. I mean, I like the character, too. The Beast Machines one for Christmas. There you go. <laughs> now, is it one that you have that you're, like, trying to get rid of now that you have the Masterpiece? No, I, I authentically love the Beast Machines one, and I'm really upset that I now realize. Because I thought there were only two of the mold, but there's, like, four. So I feel like I should go, and I can't see your hand, but I know you're putting up fingers, Christian. It's four. Four, yeah. So I need to go get... Um, the rest of them, but I think at least one of them is pretty pricey now. So, but I, Switch Returns when I bet was pretty pricey. That's one of my favorite Transformers toys. So, I like to get the rest of it. All right. Well, I have to do. I have to do some, do some research and uh, and then uh, get one. So then that way I can participate in a favorite Black Arachnia show. So. Yeah, that would be awesome. Like I said, I'll just get you these sheets for Christmas, so she's automatically here. I can probably pick that one up super cheap since people apparently don't like it. So. People only don't like it because it's not very good. People, I don't know if it's really mean. I won't go that far. You said people don't like me because I'm not very good? That's not what? Good. That's not what I was going to say. It was going to be way more creative than that. Wow. <laughs> Uh, All right, well, um, I think we've beaten this to death and went off topic multiple times, so we're probably about no, no, time to wrap up. Fun, so, I've had yeah. a great audience today. Yeah, I, I appreciate uh, all you guys joining in. It, it was a lot of fun. So, um, and we're not doing Ouch My Wallet tomorrow night because um, we have stuff to do. I guess. Um, there will be a cut to tape this week, and uh, then we're also going to have a live TFLP as well. Um, so, yeah, so uh, watch Friday and then join us on uh, Sunday at noon Eastern, 11 o'clock Central for TFLP. And I guess that's it. So, yep. Yeah. So, thanks everyone. So, have a good week. <laughs>